Hello, church family. John Cube is here with another segment of my story for his glory. I've got Stacy Earl right here. Hello, Stacy. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Listen, I've got a question for you. Okay. Before we get started, who's the loudest fan our academy has for any of the sports games? Volleyball, flag football, basketball. I'm thinking me or Tom's pretty loud, Paul's loud, Nick's loud. A few of the ladies are pretty loud. Who's the loudest fan our school academy has? Well, none of the above. It's preacher by far. <laughs> preacher by far. All right. Yes. I, I, you know what? That doesn't surprise me. Preacher loves our sports program. Yes, you know what? Does. Let's get right into your story, part of your story for God's glory. Okay. Well, my story, I was raised Catholic and I was born in the great state of Maine. Um, my mother raised me more as a charismatic Catholic. She was saved in the Catholic church. So I knew about being so having salvation, having a relationship with Jesus. But it wasn't until we got to Florida and my youngest daughter started playing soccer and preacher's daughter was playing soccer too. My oldest daughter needed a job and we found a job through Chick-fil-A and my daughter was going through an addiction problem that she had. And her Jim LaRue, her boss, had given her a track for an RU group and we came and I couldn't believe the transformation I've seen there. Um, she then, graduated and has now lived up in Maine with her biological father, but I stayed with RU because I realized through RU that I had an addiction. I enabled people, enabled my daughter to do the things. And then I started just crying. One day I had this urge to just cry and I cried uncontrollably for 30 minutes at my house, got down on my knees. And I realized at that point I needed Jesus in my heart. I needed Jesus in my life. And I asked him into my life. And then shortly after I went to my next RU meeting and Sarah Court, right, my leader, had told me to talk to me about baptizing. And I said, Paul, I've been baptized. I got sprinkled, you know? Um, but she said, no, go ahead and look further into your RU challenges. And my husband always told me it was biblical that you had to be baptized, but I didn't understand why. And he just kept saying it was biblical. So Sarah told me, go in and do my challenge. And in my challenge, I read why you do it, what it actually means. And I went back the following week and I told her, I said, I want to be baptized. So we had then told preacher that I wanted to be baptized. And I still remember that day getting in the water and how cold it was. And preacher just said, well, suck it up, you Yankee. And I was like, oh my, you're going to baptize me. And he said, yeah, and if you're lucky, I'll pull you on up. Well, I was lucky he pulled me up. <laughs> and I've never looked back at anything. I have totally left the Catholic Church. I try to witness to friends that are in the Catholic Church because they are totally lost. They don't have Jesus. All the works that I did didn't get me anything. But now, after my, having my salvation and being baptized, I realized that's what it's all about. And that's my story for his glory.